That's very cool, Steph. I didn't realize just how close you really were. I can't see him though. However, what we can see is that Shungile has a kill. As to when that happened, how that happened, or who was responsible, your guess is as good as mine. I suspect it was Shungile herself when they, ca when they entered into this particular spot. But I'm not 100% convinced. Might also have been why Karula went and lay down. Anyway, one poor hapless scrub hair has been snatched up by Shungile. And sorry for those of you that are a little bit sensitive. This might get a bit gory, since she is capable of eating the entire thing from snout to tail. And she may well do so, although at the moment she's just carrying it around like a proud kitty cat. Look what I did. Look what I got. Where should I put this? You know when a child gets a present and they're not playing with it, but they carry it around and they sort of put it in different places just to draw your attention to it. That's kind of what she's doing. Lisa, yes. I think the cubs are old enough now that they could survive if they had to on their own. They are capable of making small kills, potentially where Hosanna is concerned, capable of making big kills. Yes, I do think that they are capable of surviving on their own. I think if anything were to happen to Karula, which it won't, of course, because she's a legend, but if anything were to happen to Karula, they would be fine. Or if, for example, she were to give birth now and have new, a new set of cubs early, which is not going, again, I don't think is going to happen, but if she were, hypothetically, I think they'd be fine. The hardest time would probably be for Hosanna. Somehow I feel as though Shungile has already got the idea of independence in her mind. Still clutching it. <laughs> <laughs>